Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday, pre-holiday weekend. Um, I hope you're going to be safe out there if you're traveling. Uh, be sure to, to be conscientious to folks around you and also to the animals that may be out, out and about and getting loose. Um, you know, people like to celebrate this weekend uh, being a holiday. And um, and also let's be, uh, be sure to uh, give homage and respect for this what this holiday is all about. So... Anyway, my thought today is on internal compass. You know, life is about directions, and sometimes we don't know what direction we're going. Sometimes we get lost. Sometimes, we're, you know, we take a wrong turn, and we end up way off the beaten path or, or somewhere that we, or, or miles from where we were intending to go, or... Um, you know, and, and it may change our whole dynamic of how we're going to, where we're going to go, what we're going to do when we get there, the time frame. Um, you know, bottom line, you know, we, when we get lost or on a di different uh, path or road or not sure of the direction, that means sometimes we got to pull over and get the direction. in order to get back on track. <clears throat> um, you know, we get like that in our thoughts in life, too. Sometimes we, we get misdirected. We listen to people that we shouldn't. We, you know, people can also put, give us different perceptions of who they are, which actually can deceive us sometimes and make us make decisions based on something that's really a facade or not real. Whether, and not just people, but situations, life, jobs, environments, all of that has potential for great growth, but also that we got to be careful about, you know, everything that we see isn't necessarily what it is. You know, just like I posted the other day, uh, you know, even salt looks like sugar and doesn't mean it's sugar. Um, and so bottom line, you know, all throughout life, you know, there are going to be things that we're going to do that, you know, sometimes we're glad we maybe took off the, the, the main highway onto this dirt road, whether it was an accident or not, maybe we enjoy that, that landscaping or, you know, that breath of fresh air or, you know, other times it really detours us from the direction and the time and the place and the purpose of where we're supposed to go. And... We all have an internal compass, and that internal compass is from God above. It's that internal spirit we have, that that inner knowing, that sixth sense, that that they, that that enlightenment that truly does come from from God above. Sometimes we don't listen to that inner, internal compass. Sometimes we'd rather just you know. Uh, hit the glass and, you know, uh, it doesn't look right, it must be broke, and go about our own direction. And so, you know, throughout life we're going to make decisions based on what we think our internal compass is telling us. And sometimes we don't listen to that, and when we do, we get sidetracked and people may, people, things, situations may um, put out the persona that it's something and that's the direction we need to go, and, and we end up having to take the long way back to where we really want to go or where we're really supposed to go or even our purpose to what we want to do and to get back on track. But you know, all of it's relevant, all of it's important. You know, um, you know, I believe everything in life happens for a reason. Uh, even those, you know, missteps, those, those travels, those, um, areas in life that we might have ventured off to learn something or didn't even know why we did it, but we did it anyway, out of curiosity, out of uh, the unknowing, out of maybe having courage and faith to try something new, even if we didn't know what that direction was going to lead us to, even if we didn't know what was into that path, but we thought we have a pretty good idea. And again, we, you know, our internal compass, which is our inner spirit, which comes from God, we really have to stop and think and listen and get in our quiet place, our zone, so to speak, 
to where we make our, our most solid, um, meaningful, uh, thought-provoking uh, uh, statements of our life and what we hope to accomplish. doesn't mean we always do, but, we, but sometimes we just have to stop and try to listen to what that internal compass is trying to tell us. And sometimes that means we have to block people out. Sometimes that means we have, to, we have to get off that road, get onto another road and take another path that even though that path doesn't necessarily show us, you know, exactly how the, out, how the destination looks, it is about the journey. It is about the journey to get to where we want to go and where we hope to accomplish great things, personally, professionally, you know, uh, externally, internally, spiritually. So maybe that's what we all need to do sometimes is just stop and breathe and try to get directional and do it from our spirit and from what God is trying to tell us as opposed to going our own path and see where that leads us and, and keep optimistic and, and hopeful that, you know, good things are ahead. And there, there doesn't mean there's not going to be obstacles. It doesn't mean that, you know, things might not get cloudy and crazy and sidetracked along the way. But, you know, to, to, to really use our internal compass as the tool for getting ahead in life and for finding in, uh, fulfillment and happiness. So that's my thought today is sometimes we got to worry less about our external environment situations and just go with our gut, go with our internal spirit, go with our internal compass and learn the lessons along the way and, and stay on track and, and, and follow your heart. You know, sometimes we just listen to our head but outsmarts our heart. And try to do it from a place of love, the decisions that we make. And not to be angry or upset of getting lost on the sidetrack here or taking the long way around over here or, or maybe somebody deceived us or showed us a side that made us take a, tr a trip down some other road that we really had no business being on. Let all that go. It all is relevant to exactly where you are right here, right now in this very place. And it was all supposed to happen for a reason. And it's all to teach us and mend us and heal us and let us grow into becoming who we are meant to be. So listen to your eternal compass. Sometimes it's about taking risks and not, not everything is black and white cl uh, cl uh, clear cut. And we just have to follow that compass and trust and believe and pray and give thanks and uh, try to stay centered and protect our energy and be around the, around the right kind of people that are going to lift us up and not try to sidetrack us on their own crazy whatever it might be direction. So hope you have a great day. Keep, keep safe. Keep blessed. Know that wherever you are right now is exactly where you're supposed to be because there's a lot of great things ahead and you just got to keep in the mindset that you're going to follow your heart. You're going to follow uh, your God-given uh, uh, your your God-given um, thought, and uh, be directional. And you are protected, and, and what you, what you do and where you go is going to be safe, and because you're going to claim it and you're going to see it before you even get there, and you're and you know that everything is happening for a reason, and you're going to be grateful for that. So you can become your best and, and, you know, whatever you aspire to become will be your, the way you, your life is supposed to be. So never give up on you. Believe in you. Pay attention to your compass. If you get off on the wrong road, it's okay. Get back. You can get back on. Just take a deep breath. If you have to say, say a couple of cuss words to get them off, go ahead. And, you know, just stay directional. Stay positive. Stay believing that you are on the right path. And, you know, if, if things come along that you aren't sure about, that you're going to pray about them and that you're also going to find direction in any little, you know, exit along the way that might detour or confuse you. Just keep positive and believe because there will be, there will be obstacles. We just have to be uh, diligent to seeking our truth.
in living our truth and being authentic, our best authentic self in the process so we can live and learn and grow along the way and maybe even influence others in that path. So thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. As always, keep looking up. Onward and upward. Talk at you later.